The financial crime risks are real and present and dangerous to your organisation and also to the general public. Crypto does form a relatively small part of the financial services sector. However, in November last year, its market capitalisation was up to $3 trillion. And even now, after the crypto winter that we've seen over the last 12 months, it's still hovering around $1 trillion. So this is an industry which is continuing to grow at an exponential pace. And we're also seeing more rollout of blockchain technology within banks and asset managers and other financial services firms. And not least, central bank digital currencies are also coming down the line in various developing countries. So crypto is too big to ignore. Regulators and law enforcement are all over crypto right now. Financial crime, anti-money laundering and national security is still the top of every government's list of concerns regarding crypto assets. So regulators right now are making a real concerted effort to join the dots in terms of regulation. FATF guidance means that crypto already falls within AML regulations across the globe. However, we're beginning to see an effort right now to put, to put crypto under the spotlight of other forms of regulation, be it prudential risk, treasury risk, technology risk, and ensure that crypto is actually brought into the regulated financial services sector and has the same sorts of requirements, systems and controls as any other form of financial services. For you, as a financial crime professional, you really need to be on top of your crypto risk. Crypto risk doesn't have to be a direct risk. It can also be an indirect risk. Whether or not you think you're banking crypto or you, you are allowing your customers to transact in crypto, the, the truth is that your firm will already be exposed to crypto. FinCEN have made it very clear that when they bring in their bank examiners to supervise your firm, they will expect to see a crypto risk analysis by your firm, which outlines how you are managing financial crime risks relating to crypto.